What's going on, Arizona Sports Fan family? We're back at it again with another video here of the Arizona Sports Fan. Today, what I want to talk about is the big takeaways that I ended up having from Kyler Murray and Cliff Kingsbury's press conference today. Let's dive right into it. Roll that intro. All right, everybody, welcome back in. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Definitely do me one huge favor. Smack that like button on this video and subscribe for more Arizona Cardinals content. Today, what I want to talk about is basically the... I guess the big key takeaways from this press conference from Cliff Kingsbury and Kyler Murray and um, things that I ended up hearing, right? So from Cliff Kingsbury, he definitely gave us some updates pertaining to big star names out there. Um, there's not really much update. Day-to-day -day is what he's pretty much saying. There has been a lot of players that have not been in this practice today, which is a little concerning, but we're not going to really get too heavily invested and start freaking out until maybe Friday or, or Saturday when the original or, or when the you know, week two uh, injury report ends up coming out. So we'll kind of wait for that to see exactly what happens, who's going to be playing week two and stuff like that. Another thing is that there was kind of just a lot of jokes back and forth, right? Chandler Jones is on the other side um, uh, of the opposing team this time around. So, you know, Cliff made some jokes here and there. He didn't want to piss him off. He didn't want to get him a chip on his shoulder because he can definitely, you know, take over a game if he wanted to. So uh, there was a little bit of that uh, back and forth. Nothing really too notable uh, to talk about. Um, the Kyler Murray, let's move on. To Kyler Murray. I feel like we got a little bit more things to kind of take away from Kyler Murray uh, more than anything. Now, I wanted to go ahead and post this tweet here from Paul Calvisi up right now. He says this. So Kyler Murray tells the media, when you get beat like that at home, game one, it's going to be a wake-up call for whoever felt complacent. You got to look in the mirror individually. Really want to be here. Do you really want to be great? What drives you? Those are the questions I feel like need to be asked. Now, to me, it's crazy right now that our leader... You know, our quarterback is having to put this out on tape. Now, I actually do 100% agree with this word, right? I agree with it. People should be doing this. I 100% agree. I don't think I have a problem with Kyler Murray saying this. I have a problem with why are we still having to ask these questions now, right? Four years into the Cliff Kingsbury's, uh, you know, experience along with Kyler Murray, why are we still having to ask those questions now? Do we have teammates in this locker room that are complacent? Do we have teammates in this locker room that don't believe in the culture? Do we have teammates in this locker room that just don't believe in Cliff's vision? I don't know, right? There's just so many questions, so many things to unfold with this just one statement on its own. Now, I do honestly believe that the days of you know, kind of talking and, and not taking accountability should be over. I really do want the, the days of, hey, just we're going to look at the tape, but actually fixing it, meaning something as opposed to hearing it like time and time again. Because, right, we've heard Cliff Kingsbury say every single time we, we got to give credit to the other team. But at the end of the day, I mean, doesn't other teams got to give credit to us as Arizona Cardinals, you know, you know, not the fan base, but the organization in terms of there's two teams playing on Sundays, Thursdays and Mondays. And sometimes I feel like we don't get the credit because the game plan that we're putting out there just doesn't make sense. Now, a couple of other things to kind of take away from, you know, this whole situation, which honestly, it honestly does make me believe that the culture within this locker room, whether they want to admit it or not, and I don't expect them to admit it, right? I'm not crazy. I don't expect them to admit it, but I think there is a level of concern within this locker room. There is. Um, now, it, it's crazy to me that, you know, with one player down, DeAndre Hopkins, we're still looking this bad. Now, I get it. It's week one, right? I don't think it's a situation where I'm like, hey, like, no other team sucked in the NFL, but besides us, no, I'm not saying that. Obviously, there is. We had other teams struggled, but to to ask yourself these questions, this you know, far into this experiment of the fourth year, it's crazy to me that we're still kind of finding ourselves right now where our leader is telling people in the locker room that you need to ask yourself this information because we might have some people complacent. We might have some people that really need to to really evaluate, do they want to be on this team or not? Or just, is this what they want? So that's really concerning. Now, one other thing that I wanted to talk about here is about Kyler Murray as well. This one kind of rubbed me the wrong way um, when the media guy ended up asking Kyler Murray about, you know, hey, you've been, you know, you lost like a certain amount of times at home. And then Kyler Murray kind of came in and said, hey, you know, we don't, it had nothing to do with last year, right? We're not trying to bleed into the last year or it doesn't matter. Uh, something along those lines where he was like, it shouldn't, right? It shouldn't transpire. But 
I think it's a very valid question, right? Now, I don't think this is something where the media is like trying to make up something where, you know, it's not true. It's factual. The Arizona Cardinals has lost, what was it, five or six straight home games? There has to be a rhyme or reason for that. And why we haven't fixed it now is pretty freaking concerning. Now, I know Kyler Murray came out and says it doesn't matter. I feel like it should matter because there's five weeks, there's a full off season, and there is the, the preparation for week one, and we still couldn't get the job done. Now, I don't think I'm sitting here and saying we should have beat and obliterated, you know, the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm aware they're a great team. They're obviously good at what they do. They're well coached. Their culture is great. They got Patrick freaking Mahomes over there. But to get beat the way we got beat, the offense looked out of sync, unmotivated, un everything. And then the defense, on the other hand, they just looked absolutely bad. They couldn't do anything to stop. Patrick Mahomes. Now, the one weird thing to me as well is that why Vance Joseph came into this game and was just constantly trying to blitz Patrick Mahomes when he's probably one of the best people, you know, when he's getting blitzed. It's crazy to me, right? Kind of makes me ask, why doesn't our defensive coordinator or, or our head coach do this, you know, addendum, right? The, the homework addendum, because it's really weird. I think we ended up blitzing Patrick Mahomes like more than 50% of the times, which is absolutely absurd because he is great at what he does. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all in the perspective of like, why would that be the game plan? And obviously look on the other side of the coin, which is the offense. Why didn't we run the ball more? It's just, it didn't make any sense at all. Um, so the home thing, the home game in terms of like losing five or six games straight, it's a big deal. And it should be a big deal. Our teammates within that locker room should take pride in terms of breaking that record because if we have a team like the Baltimore Ravens that are so true and and, and really love the idea of a preseason streak then you really got to start asking yourself what does this culture look like in this Arizona Cardinal locker room now I might be looking too much into this and I really want your guys' opinion put everything in the comments below but all last question I got to say is can the real Leader of this locker room, please stand up because we absolutely need you going into week two. That's all I want to say. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, go Cards.